New Delhi, the capital city of India, is a fascinating blend of old and new. From historic monuments to modern skyscrapers, the city has something to offer for everyone. Let's take a closer look at the city and explore its many facets in this documentary. The history of New Delhi dates back to the 6th century BC, when it was a small village known as Indraprastha. Over the centuries, it grew in prominence, and in 1911, the British decided to make it the new capital of India, replacing Kolkata. The city was designed by the British architect Edwin Lutyens and was inaugurated in 1931. Today, New Delhi is a bustling metropolis with a population of over 20 million people. It is divided into two parts, Old Delhi and New Delhi. Old Delhi is the historic part of the city and is home to some of the most iconic landmarks of the city. Let's start our tour with a visit to Old Delhi. Red Fort, built in 1638. The Red Fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a symbol of India's rich history. It served as the residence of the Mughal emperors for over 200 years and is known for its impressive architecture and intricate carvings. Jama Masjid, located near the Red Fort. The Jama Masjid is one of the largest mosques in India. It was built in the 17th century by the Mughal emperor Shah Jahan and can accommodate over 25,000 worshippers at a time. Chandni Chowk, this bustling street market is a shopper's paradise. You can find everything from traditional Indian clothes and jewelry to street food and spices. The market is known for its chaotic yet vibrant atmosphere. Rajgat, this is a peaceful memorial dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. It is a simple black marble platform where Gandhi was cremated in 1948. The surrounding gardens offer a serene atmosphere and are a popular spot for meditation and reflection. Moving on to New Delhi, let's take a look at some of its most iconic landmarks. India Gate, built in memory of Indian soldiers who died during World War I. The India Gate is a prominent landmark in New Delhi. It is a war memorial and is surrounded by lush gardens. Rashtrapati Bhavan, this is the official residence of the President of India. It was designed by Edwin Lutyens and is an impressive example of colonial architecture. Qutub Minor, this UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a towering minaret built in 1193. It is the tallest brick minaret in the world and is surrounded by several other historic structures. Lotus Temple, this is a unique temple built in the shape of a lotus flower. It is a Baha'i house of worship and is known for its stunning architecture. In conclusion, New Delhi is a city that offers a perfect blend of old world charm and modernity. From historic landmarks to modern skyscrapers, the city has something for everyone. It is a city that is steeped in history and culture and is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to India. Welcome to New Delhi, the vibrant and bustling capital of India. My name is Your Name, and I will be your tour guide for today. We'll start our tour with a visit to Old Delhi, the historic part of the city. Our first stop will be the Red Fort, a magnificent fortress built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in 1638. The Red Fort served as the residence of the Mughal emperors for over 200 years and is known for its impressive architecture and intricate carvings. From there, we'll head to Jama Masjid, one of the largest mosques in India, built in the 17th century by Shah Jahan. It can accommodate over 25,000 worshippers at a time. After exploring the mosque, we'll take a stroll through the bustling street market of Chandni Chowk, known for its traditional Indian clothes and jewelry, street food, and spices. Next, we'll visit Raj Ghat, a peaceful memorial dedicated to Mahatma Gandhi the father of the nation, the serene surroundings provide an excellent opportunity for meditation and reflection. We'll then make our way to New Delhi and visit the India Gate, a war memorial built in memory of Indian soldiers who died during World War I. We'll also stop by Rashtrapati Bhavan, the official residence of the President of India and an impressive example of colonial architecture. After that, we'll head to Qutub Minor, a towering minaret built in 1193, and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We'll explore the surrounding historic structures and marvel at the impressive architecture. Finally, we'll visit the Lotus Temple, 
A unique temple built in the shape of a lotus flower and a Baha'i house of worship, the temple is known for its stunning architecture and tranquil surroundings. I hope you enjoyed your tour of New Delhi today. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there is anything else I can help you with.